Right, well, let's see. Wednesday the 27th yep. of uh, February. Okay. And um, in an attempt to find these leaks, we had an idea, which is we're taking strips of um, ordinary kitchen towel, cutting them up, and we've dick has fixed them onto the sub deck all the way around, on, just inside the O ring. And uh, now we're screwing the deck down, and then we're going to what, pour water all over pour, it? Pour water on it, which will seep in through the cracks here, and see, does it, see if it passes the O ring and reaches the tissues. Right, so I'm going to talk these down as I normally do. I might add that um, Peter found with a, with a straight edge that this side here, the port side, if you open the, towards the bow, uh, was um, not flat. Um, quite a large amount. And so filled it with, um, uh, what was it, car filler, car body yeah, filler, wasn't it? Epoxy, uh, yeah, a sandable filler. Yeah, and um, has then sanded it down a little to try and lift that up to meet the O-ring. It's amazing how hard this O-ring is, although you can easily squeeze it between your fingers, when you've got a long length of it, it generates an enormous force. So yeah. This has to be screwed down really tight. One of the other things I was suggesting was that if we have water lying in this crack where the deck fits just inside the hull and the o-ring is in inboard from the edge of that crack water will seep until it reaches the o-ring absolutely if the, if the o-ring doesn't seal hard enough it, it does seep further into the hull however there's nothing to stop it going into the crack here uh, between the deck and the, uh, the gunnels of the boat and I was suggesting that we perhaps put some scuppers at the sub-deck level uh, along there so that it doesn't lie in there, but it, it runs out. We'll yeah, so there'll be less water lying in there. Yeah. See how these rubber things squidge out, yeah. squidge out and curl up? Yeah. Should not have started from this point, really. It's, it's designed with the bolts inboard of the... Oh, it was not good. So are they all now tight, do you think? Um, yeah, that's fine. So, I'll move the boat. Move the boat, I'll get rid of this. We're going over near the garden or near the hose Somewhere pipe? Somewhere in the drive. Near the hose. Yeah. Warning, there's very high water pressure in this neck of the woods and it, it, the whole thing may explode right. and cover you in water but uh, so you want to get the oh, you, the, the thing is on yeah. yeah so you can do anything you like huh? you, you um you don't want to colour the water then or do you think that's a step I don't too see far? how we can if it's coming right. out of the hose okay well. is that too vicious because we I can just take that off and uh, it's a bit vicious isn't it uh, I've got another one which is even more, but if, hang on a moment, just, let me just... Is that better? It. It's alright, I've just adjusted it. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Because if we take that pistol off, the water just comes out in a normal flow. Yeah, no, I've, I've turned the little red control thing in it. it If, if, if you want me to hold it and you do the other end, but I'm not going to hold it when you're doing that end. I'll cut the spot to stay there then. Right. I'll, I'll just... Stand behind it. Oh, I don't, I don't, no, I don't want to do it. Oh, it's fair. Well, it can. It doesn't mean you won't want me to. I think that's more washing over the dust. Look, this is pouring. It's, yeah. it's going to go in there anyway, because that, I've never had one like that before. So we know the water's going to go straight through there. But that is 
Yeah. That's a broken washer, so it's bound to come through there. It's a pity it spoils our head. I'm holding it this end, you put the water out that end. I've done it already. Like that. I think it's adequate. Yeah. What, what goes over it tends to, tends to be odd little splashes from waves like that. Yeah. Yeah. And occasionally you get the you get the, the And it gets a lot in the in the bar and the, and the stern, doesn't it? I think that's a day. Right. Well, we're going to have a leak here for certain, because this is completely mashed up. Oh. And were you going to, yes, blow it? I'm going to blow it with some air when you when you parked it. And have you still got the bit? Good. The the. Uh... If this ever falls up oh, on the ground, works. I've only got one in the whole world, and I don't know what it is. You, I'm sure you could very quickly manufacture one then. <laughs> if I had a milling machine, I could. <laughs> Peter, you should treat yourself to your, this milling machine you lost after. It's pity about this rubber thing here, because I've never had that before, and that's going to, going to spoil this area, and this, this may be the area where it leaks, you see, this is the problem. Oh, oh. But anyway, nothing is perfect in this life, is it? It's perfect now. Yeah. Filter. No moaning. Spilt water. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that if you tipped it forward a bit and I do this with the air duster. Yeah. Of course, I, maybe I should get an airline. Process could be forced under the only. Yeah. Can we have it tilted forward a bit? It's in. It's working, isn't it? Yeah. Moment of truth, Dick will do the reveal. Right, okay. Right, so what have we got? Wet all the way around here. Water in the bottom there. Water in the bottom there. Uh, and that's, uh, you can feel it's all... All the way wet. around there. But dry from there, there. There, 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 there. It's all totally there, dry, and there. nothing in the bottom. Uh, so that's all, all dry except for just this. Just this bit here. Bit there. Um, well, I mean, this is. So, and this is where it, it. We've tended to see it. It is where we tended to see it. Yes. Yeah, we did see a little bit here, but that that could have that could have dribbled down. And yes. With the rocking and that. Yeah, but yes. Uh, but no, it could have run along here. It could, I mean, could, you know, could with have done, yeah. It, I mean, the, one, one problem is that this horribly narrow piece of wood here makes it terribly difficult to get the O-ring round there. Um, so I think... But of course, this was... Hang on a moment. Which, which side was the that horrid this, thing? It was this, this one, side. This it was one, it, one along. It was on the yeah, right, starboard so side. One that one. So nothing actually... Of course, the water could have come down here and fallen into that from the um, through uh, the through the bolt I but it didn't get it's not no. it's not at all wet there so no. i'd so say no even that didn't nothing that came didn't. through so there so i think i think there's this seal this around is, here this is then. our problem yes well i always knew it was a pain in the ass um, what do you expect me to do about it there's such a little space to go around here uh, can we can we put a seal along no, the edge here? No, that's a half hour solution. You've got to make this seal work. Well, we're not... We're, we're, <laughs> you, you, know, you only do it by put a sec, putting a second strip along here. I mean, I can't... Uh, or we could apply pressure here, but I... I 
then that's the, the answer. I, I, see, I was just thinking if, if when it went in, it, it, it went yeah, up. Yeah, I know, but that's half... Uh, that, you think so, if you've so got it, one yeah. seal that's not working, you're not going to make it work by putting another half-hour seal right. outside it. OK, so, so do we build this up a bit? Is this not applying but, enough pressure onto well, that? Well, I, I don't know. Are um, we know uh, you could say that we need a bolt in the middle here, but... Um, do we know whether that's actually sitting on there? Um, or yes, is, or it, is. is it, or is it right on the right on the very no, edge? No, because the blue line there. I put some I right, okay, engineers yeah. blue on this, and right, all okay. that blue line is where the seal actually goes. Right. So it comes around here along along that line, and then up that way. So it's not it's not sitting down on there. Doesn't seem to be, does it? Have we? Is is that? Slightly, I can't feel an edge there, but it does this well lower in between the. That's what you've got to investigate. Right, so one problem is that the separation between these two bolts here is quite long compared with what we've got elsewhere, and we put extra bolts in in order, we found they were necessary when uh, to get this done. So one possibility is to put a bolt in here which bears down on this in the middle here, or you were saying? I, I think that uh, as we don't use this compartment for yes. anything at all... Block it up completely. We could almost block it up, but certainly put a bridge across here Yes. and put um, a second seal across here. Uh, yes. We've got some more of that O-ring stuff. Yes, if I can find it, yes. Um, and it will mean a, a join in the... Uh, I mean, but, yes. cer but certainly, if rather than you know, just we, we should just accept that it does seep in a bit there. And let's put another seal across here so it doesn't get any further down. That's what I'm saying. Yes, and, um, and since we've got there's nothing here, in this compartment, we can. Right. And then that that will have a bolt on either side of it. Yes. So, so that it should apply good pressure on there, rather yes. than this bit that's cantilevered out the front here. Yes. Well, so what are we going to do? Do do this today? Well, let's okay. take the uh, tissue off because I think we've, that's yeah. done its job. Hasn't okay. with this surface here? Well, if you've got a seal on it, it's got to be flush with this surface yeah. on, this side, on this side and flush with that surface on that side. Right, so we, we want it up slightly then. Yeah. I told you it was slightly too tight. <laughs> It won't stay unless I put unless I mix more of this stuff up. More of silica in there, it's just not going to stay on the vertical surface. Make it work. Right, so now if we put it in there as well. Yeah, that's right. So probably we want it straight across here, don't we? We could use this straight yeah. edge that I've just created. Press down like this. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't look right, but it presumably is right. And, and, and across the back edge as well. Well, we can't. It's a piece of uh, stuff. We can sand that. Okay. This is what's got to be right. right. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to mix a bit more. The more of this still here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it makes it uh, stand up. See, that looks high there, but we can always sand it, can't we? It's better yeah. to be high than to be low. Yeah. That's all I can say. Well, you're the expert on smoothing this stuff out, aren't you? 
Oh yes, from when I was going into the exactly. on the, on the beach. Uh, exactly. Squidge down and just pop it there. You want to squidge it down more? Yes. Okay. Right, so I was going to put the rest underneath by hand. Yeah? It's going to be horrid. Yeah, you, yes, I do. You look. I can see it coming up there, which is good. That's uh, enough. Yeah. Well, there's some more there if you want it. So we've glued this board in here, thereby waterproof this front area up to a point. And whether we're going to reroute the O-ring slightly closer or leave it as it is, I we'll see, because we've got an extra bolt in here now, yeah. one, two, three. So we can smooth it down and hope for the best. Uh, I think, we, I think um, if we find it, there is any leakage occurring here, yes. which we can do with a tissue tester tent, again, yes. Yes. we could just build this up with just a Yeah, with a some of this brown filler. So, yeah, exactly. Yep. Okay. The bit that goes sideways is from here to there. That's it. Where would it tend to pull? I have no idea. Well, Probably doesn't right. matter very much. Which no, no. Well, it's a, it's a it's all, it's always leaning. So. But I would, it, ideally, I wouldn't put it actually at the corner because it's you know stru point of structural weakness, yeah, and we're okay. making it do weaker so, still. Then. So from from there to here. Yeah. From there forward. Yeah, yeah that's good. Right, so I'll start there. Right, that uh, fiberglass is set now, or epoxy, whatever you like to call it. I'm just going to sand it down a bit. A little dent here. Just put some kitchen tissue there with the hope of detecting any leak. So we've talked it down as before with the additional bolt here, which I didn't have before. So testing these scuppers that we've put in here, hole here, two more up, up there on each side to drain quickly, drain the water out. Yes, I think it is draining out. 
you say that, say that there isn't so much water just resting in this crack. Still some water in the mast step, but that doesn't matter so long as it stays there. This is the stern. No water in there. No water in there. Here's the mast step. Don't see any water there. No water down there. And most importantly, the only water we've got on this thing is just around this bolt hole. Otherwise, that's completely dry. That's completely dry. Now we can't actually see in the front compartment now because we put this uh, piece of wood here, but I can feel No, that's completely dry. So, probably, probably that's a success. So there was no water at all in the hull. So the combination of putting this board on, putting the extra bolt in there, and putting these scuppers along here to stop the water resting there, may have been a success. May have been. The acid test is actually put it for a couple of hours in the sea.